the end of the day, my um, I totally believe that your perception is your reality. So however you perceive that the influence is in your life, that's what your reality is going to be. If every influence that has come across your life is is bad, then you're going to relive the reality of a bad life. From the time you were born to the teenage years to your adult years to the time you die, everything will be of a bad influence because of that one perception that caused you to be like, okay, well, this one thing went bad. Everything else is going to be bad from here on out. But, you know... um, when you know I think about the influences that I've had in my life <clears throat> and I'm on the the flip side of the coin when it comes to Tristan I, I I'm not a, a of course he is guy you know influencer <laughs> yeah, to a certain be extent nice guy. but I I truly believe in trying to help people better themselves in Nothing whatever situation it. that you may be facing whatever situation that you're in it's just like there's always a silver lining at the end of the tunnel you're always going to be able to find your way out of this dark situation so don't let one bad influence cause you to deter from what God has for you in life. Mm. But that but sometimes when you don't know that foundation, Sean, just keep it at one hundred, that one situation can cause a ripple effect that you may never come out and then your life is set. Well, I won't necessarily say I, I won't even put God completely into the equation because okay. I didn't find Jesus until I was twelve years old. Okay. So being transparent when my mother passed away at the age of nine years old, my grandmother was my influence. She wasn't saved. She drunk like like there was no tomorrow. But at the end of the day, she gave me some good influences to right. help me along the way. It wasn't about God. It was about being it was about trying to help me be a man, trying to help me work, trying to help me right. stand on my own two feet where I won't have to beg anybody for anything. Well, you got to build certain. I mean, in, influence doesn't necessarily have to come from a parent. Um, you could have influences from anywhere. Um, shout out to she. She thorough and that's S H E T H O R O. I'm gonna shout her out tonight. Um, her name is BK. Well, I know her as BK, y'all know her as Toya or She Thorough. Um, she's a blogger and um, went to college with her, and she's just just through the internet. I mean, one of the most influential people to me in my life. I mean, outside of Cookie and of course you, Sean, but you know, she positivity raised from that young lady right i mean it i mean it's sh- it, it exudes from her body you see it in her pictures you see it in what she says you see it in how she carries herself and i mean i think that if you can find influence anywhere you can change any situation right. whether it's bad good right. and different it, or somebody influenced you or not but right. the, it I, it comes down to a determining fact and you know of do you want to change <laughs> correct that's do you want to change that's, that's the key word right there change because regardless of what you want to do or you think you can't do, it's about do you want to change. Now, I use, for example, as being an adult, you have some people that are ad- adults, old folks adults, that are stuck in a time warp. Oh, yeah. They're stuck in a time warp when everything was uh, the glimmer of their their life Mm -hmm. and there is hard for them to accept where they are at now. Right. But the, the thing about it is, is like when you are maturing, you're going to have to leave some things behind to pick up, pick up some other things. Mm -hmm. And when I, now when me, myself raising my daughters and my husband, I got divorced. There were a lot of challenges because basically a female cannot make as much money as a man. So I had to instill in my daughters that we had a partnership. They had to trust me, and I had to trust them. Mm-hmm. By them being three and being close in age, they, I allowed them to do more things because it was a trust level. Now, as long as they kept the trust level where it's supposed to be with me, everything was uh, fine. But if that trust level was broken, then I, you know, I... I took away all their privileges because Mm -hmm. the thing about it is a lot of times people want to do negative things and then they still want a positive reaction. It don't work like that. It does not. Because you have to, I told them I paid the cost to be the boss. Mm. That didn't come easy. Mm -mm. So we may think it looks easy. Oh, she's driving that car. But do you really want to do what she's doing to have that car? You don't know what's behind the right. line. That's so true. you cannot degrade yourself or think less of yourself because of materialistic things. Right. My children never had a lot, per se, growing up. But one thing they had is that 
I influenced them into the point that they were the best in anything they do because I put them around people I knew that truly cared about me, and then they took in, uh, invested in my children. So whenever whatever I couldn't do, they did for me, mm-hmm. for my children. So at the age of five, my youngest daughter, they wrote, and re- my oldest daughter, they wrote in a limousine. At Risha was seven years old because yeah, I, I wanted that. I wanted them to know that they didn't have to do or be a, their behavior to enjoy some of the things that That's other crazy. people. You sound like my dad. That's something my dad did when we right. were probably like 10. He, um, for a little while, he drove limousines for a little while in Atlanta. And um, that's one of the things he did is he took us in the back of one and he was like, you know, you don't have to do anything crazy to ride in this, right? Like, this, right. Is, this, is, this normal. is nothing. It's this nothing. is nothing. Right. It's just right. a thing. It's, it's, a, just, it's an experience. I was with my daughters to have a, a good, positive experience. And because their, co- their friends, their age saw that, they put them in a bubble but that was not their choice. That was my choice. Right. And, and it did have an impact because a lot of people took it as, wow, that's cool. And then the other part of the influence was, oh, they think they all that. Right. So here's the thing I want us to, to transition into. Talking about being in, you know, having positive influence and how negative influence can help us be pushed. Because I believe negative influence can help you push towards positivity. Can help you go forward. Because when somebody tell me I can't, that means I can. Correct. Okay. When somebody tell me I'm not going to be able to get into this, I'm going to show myself. I'm going to show you. Um, be quiet. Just watch. Watch me. <laughs> and next time you see me, we may have to work on the same project, or you may need me before I need you. Girl, you right. definitely took the words out of my mouth, that Lord. Lord. In that <laughs> that just happened last week. Because a lot of people try to play you like they've always had a one up on you. But really, what I've learned in these last couple years of my life recently is that I have more influence than I thought. Yeah, and. That's not boasting. It's just like you have to be careful with influence because as we're driving and being unstoppable, right, and being positive, more people are watching, paying attention. So when you bring yourself to a new light, a new era, a new venture, a new business, you are going to get exposure. Yeah. Isn't that what happens to photos? Yeah. When they snap the picture back in the day, the Polaroid, something happens when the light hits it, it explodes. It, it exposes the picture, the full picture. Until then, it's just developing, right? That's right. So right. under your influence, you are developing into something or someone or business into something. And you have to be willing and to take whatever comes with that, the good, the bad, and indifferent, and, and, and really learn from that. Yeah. Are we willing to become and go to the next level of being dope by measuring our influence? Mm. It's the time to cut off some people. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. It's time to realign our circles. Yeah. Because if you don't, you will become like that last piece of bread that nobody wants at the bottom of the bag. Stagnant and stale. Or them saltine crackers nobody forgot to put the little tag back on there. Sorry, mom. Um and they still and but they only good in soup because nobody can really tell. <laughs> Because they're going to get soggy. But I'm just saying, I'm giving y'all analogies and examples. You don't want to be that guy. You don't want to be that girl. You want to make sure that you're really going into the next level of things full force ahead. So I want to encourage each person that's listening today, whoever is influencing, take a quick look Mm -hmm. in your circle. And then look at yourself. How are you influencing you? Agree. Because when you look in the mirror, the biggest person you need to overcome is yourself. you that's right it's yourself that's right because somebody probably ain't even thinking about you i know half of the people that think i got a problem with them i am not thinking of, i want to serve notice to everybody honey you took the words Listening. out of my mouth I'm like can we serve notice real yeah. quick can we serve notice to everybody who think i'm thinking about them or i'm worried about you and why you know i'm just saying i love all my listeners and all the people that are going to join on but definitely when we wake up in the morning we're a lot of people are just trying to get out the bed to get to the job to get to the business to to get their health together and they have so many other facets to them we're not thinking about you no. we gotta think about the grind anybody got anything to say about that honey you don't even know what i child in the last four days sean <laughs> the last 
30, 72, 36 hours, Lord, I felt like my mind was running at warp speed because I had so much to do, but I couldn't be influenced by the negative people who told me two weeks prior to that it couldn't be done. Right. Hello. Right. But look at you now. It is done. Right. And it's done. And you got the keys. Yeah. I got the keys, keys. <laughs> and the well, lights on. Okay. Well, well, the thing about it is, is that nobody can see your vision because God gave you the vision. Amen. That's nobody right. else can see what God already showed you about you. So a lot of times I spent two thirds of, of my life thinking that if I stayed in this box, then I would, I would get to this level. I would move up corporately, do this and do that. And it didn't work out that way. And that's why once I saw those flaws in myself, I made a point to redirect my daughters in a different direction that this don't work. So I'm going to, I always told them, you cannot do the same thing. And change will happen. It won't happen mm. that way. Because right. if I sit here, I just weigh 350 pounds. Wow. And yep. so, you know, if I sit there and I just eat two, right. two bags Child, if y'all could of, see pecan, mama. of pecan sandy cookies every day. That's like, my key, every buddy, guy. Day, every day, every day. I can't um, And But I looked around and I'm thinking like, wow. Because, and then at the time I realized later on that I was eating Emotional eater. Wow. So I had to zoom in who I was. Once I focused on to make the change, even if it was a one little small step, you're redirecting yourself. That's good. And then one minute, one day I looked up and I looked different. And uh, I remember this guy, I liked this guy in school. Oh, I thought he was so fun. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh. And, but you married now. <laughs> I was married now. And, <laughs> and when I got you no know, real heavy, in the inside I felt the same way, even though I got bigger. But when I lost the weight, you know, I was married then, but he came around and said, I haven't seen you in a long time. And I said, and where you been, you need to go back there. Oh, so I'm glad you said that, which segues into one of our final points of our segments of this is that when you start to move forward and you have influence and you're going forward, the slithery snakes mm. and, and, the, and the crabs, everybody going to come up under their rocks. People you ain't seen in years going to resurface. Let me tell you, I had a tumbleweed going, <laughs> literally a tumbleweed going over my phone. Then all of a sudden now, let's get connected. Oh, yeah. Let's, mm. let's, let, let's text. Let's call. Yeah. But now it's because you want something. Yeah. And so when you become more influential, mm. people know that you're an asset. You were already an asset. Right. But now it's time, your season, you're exposed, and you are that dope that now they want something from you. And here's where you can turn the key. You have the choice of how you handle that situation. You have the choice on how you want to interact with the people. You have a choice if you don't want to interact with the people. That's you true. have a choice not to do business with them. Mm. And guess what? That does not make you a mean person. No. That does not make you a negative person. It means that you are solid. You are, you're going in a direction that is meant for you to become what? Unstoppable. Absolutely. And dope. And dope. Because we learned on the last episodes that you have to be determined, you have to be an overcomer, you have to be persistent, and you have to have endurance. And in order to be dope, you have to have all those facets, and now you know that you have to have the positive influence. That's right. So no more shady McGrady's, no more uh, people coming up trying to take. You have the right to make sure people are investing in you and not always a withdrawal. Yeah. My mom always taught us that. Don't let somebody take, 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 and they ain't giving nothing back. Yeah. Well, when that you know game what is you're over. Worth. Well, when you know what you're worth, you know what to charge. That's exactly what I was about to That's say. That's real good. And even when, you know, if you find yourself going down a bad influential state in life, do like the driver's course. Do a three-point turn. Mm. Get back on track. Get back on the right road and that's go in the good. opposite direction. Because Most so definitely. many people will be wanting to do a 360, but that's going to end you right back up in the same place you was already at. You have to do a 180 Oh, come through, Sean. Yes. So, you guys, I know we can really go really deep on this episode. We really Shundle. can. But we're not because we have to get ready to wrap it up. But I just want to oh. leave everybody. I know because, Mom, girl, you've been playing me. You know you dope on this microphone. <laughs> 
Mama. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> real smooth, real smooth. <laughs> Mama got the radio voice. Y'all hear it. I okay, I cannot. Okay. But I'm so, thank you so much for joining us and being a part one. Also for always encouraging myself.